friends, and welcome to the Space Gallery. This, until recently, well, until the end of the month, is slash was my art studio. Ridiculously high ceilinged, very flexible space. Um, already got a few things that aren't mine starting to creep in, so you'll have to imagine what it looks like empty. But, um, yeah, it's a sweet, sweet space. Jake Rifkin, the sculptor, was the first inhabitant, and I inherited it from him. And that's why it's so wide open. It is an ideal spot for somebody who does a sculpture or something where they need a lot of flexibility in the space. I don't know how high the ceilings these are. I'm gonna guess maybe like 14 feet or something. So it's around uh, 1,000, 1,220 square feet, something like that, because there's a hallway here. But um, this has been a great home for me. Here's uh, Jeff Bruno was right across the way from me. We've got a couple spots that are in process, progress of being open and filled and so on. But um, Blake's, Blake's right next to me. There we go, there's an abstract of his. Uh, his figurative work is uh, obscene, so I'm not gonna show that to you. This is where Berkey just moved into. Anyway, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that this place was my home and will still be in many ways, and I'm going to really miss it partly because of the amazing people here and the artistic inspiration, both of the working artists and of the rotating art shows, which I show here a lot. This piece sold, yay! This is the Unnatural Light Show. This thing looks as cool under black light as under normal light. I worked hard for that. And there's just always cool stuff. The show's been in stasis. Um, since this whole COVID thing. So here are some of the pieces of this magnificent owl, but it still, still looks cool. So yeah, this has just been a, a fabulous place to be a part of, and I'm gonna miss it, and I'm gonna be a hangers-on as much as possible to Teresa Salomon. Yeah, that's a, yeah, I love seeing how people work. And so that's one thing that's gonna change for me with the whole private studio thing, it's gonna be different, but I think it'll be right for me. Anna Sisk, Frank DeAngelis, amazing, lovely people. I'm gonna step outside for just a moment so you can see the Spaceman mural, and then I'm gonna finish getting my new studio ready so I can show it to you. So if you're looking for a sweet, sweet studio space. Soda, plant, artist, collective, environment, space. So if you're looking for a, a sweet art space, Christy Mitchell, the owner, director, visionary of this place, uh, I imagine she's ready to rent them. There are, well, by my count, four, but I'm not sure what she's planning on doing with the space. She's also the director of SEBA, uh, the South End Business Arts Association, something like that. I'm screwing it up. Thought I had enough coffee. So me and the spaceman, we've had good times. I'm planning on having more good times. I just won't live in his house anymore, but this is a great place. And it's uh, been good to me. And now I'm going to a place with some windows and a door. And I think that's going to work out great for me too. So stay tuned. I think I finished the setup in the new space today. and can even start working there. So I will take a little tour for you of that very soon. Very, very soon. Thank you for being here with me.